Coming up today on Taking Over Tottenham, we see how Pep and Erling are getting on at Manchester City as they travel to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as we take them on in the Premier League. And we give you guys an update on our Champions League first knockout round tie against Sporting of Portugal. That is coming up after the intro. Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 20 of Taking Over Tottenham here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well. If you're looking forward to today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the FM content here on the channel, also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated. So in yesterday's episode, which if you missed, I'll leave a link to that above my head in the top right corner, but we did have deadline day. We took on Blackburn and we are now all set to finish off the second season here at Tottenham. And we've played a few Premier League games since then, as well as some FA Cup as well. And the first leg of our Champions League first knockout round tie against Sporting. So a quick roundup of these results. First off, we did play in the FA Cup fourth round. We took on Barnsley. This was a bit of a scrappy win, truth be told away from home, putting out a pretty heavily rotated team for this competition, as you would expect, against non-Premier League opposition. But we just got the job done thanks to a late Oliver Skip goal to pick up a 3-2 win, and we did make our way through to the fifth round. And if we go down a little bit further, we'll spoil that one for you nice and early. We beat Bristol City in the fifth round, not too long before this game, beating them 2-0 at home with Bellotti and Ali picking up the goal. So we are still alive in the FA Cup at the start. Of today's episode that could change very quickly though because we do have Liverpool in the quarterfinals that is a very tough test for us in the FA Cup quarterfinals we certainly could have got a much nicer draw there as you can see the likes of Luton Town, Nottingham Forest getting drawn against each other, Fulham still in there as well if we had got one of those championship teams that would have been nice but it's going to be a little bit tough for us now as we travel to Anfield in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. That's going to be a tough one for us against the Premier League leaders. But speaking of the Premier League, our form since yesterday's episode has been very good. We've won all the games that you would expect us to win against Bournemouth, Brighton, Aston Villa, and West Ham. But then we had the North London derby coming into today's episode. And unfortunately, that did finish in a two-all draw at the Emirates. Pierre-Emile Hoiberg got us off to a wonderful start here. Nice free kick into the left-hand side of goal very early on to put us 1-0 up. But unfortunately, Lacazette got a penalty late in the first half to make it one all, And then some sloppy passing at the back from us. And he was slotted through this time nicely from Bakayo Saka. And it was 2-1 Arsenal early in the second half. But we did pick a goal back with 24 minutes or so left to go. And Hello making his way down the right-hand side. Fizzes the ball in here. It's a bit poor from the Arsenal goalkeeper and Son tucks it away and it ends up being a two-all draw. Just checking who was in goal for Arsenal in this game. It was Ramsdale picked up an eight despite that error because in the 14th minute he did save a Harry Kane penalty so that could be some costly drop points for us there but not the worst result against the European contender in the Premier League and we have also of course played the first leg of our Champions League first knockout round time. We did get a good result against Sporting away from home. And all the goals in this game were scored by centre-backs. It was for us, Joe Rodon. He got his first header at the half-hour mark. Ten minutes later, exactly the same scenario. He put us 2-0 up just before half-time. And just after half-time, he completed his hat-trick at the far post there. An unlikely hat-trick there to the well centre-back, Joe Rodon. They did pinch one back shortly off the back of that. Rodon getting beaten in the air by Quartes for Sporting, but still a pretty comfortable 3-1 win for us there, and a good result to take into the home league 3-1. It will be when we start that league at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, and we will bring you guys an update on that after we play this game coming up against Pep Guardiola's Manchester City, who are quite a filthy team this year in the save. It is fair to say they've got Erling Haaland, Lautaro Martinez as their backup striker. They are very strong up front, albeit only find themselves fourth 
in the Premier League. As you can see by the table, Liverpool are five points clear of us at the top of the table, four points clear of Manchester United. They are certainly the favourites with 10 games to go in the season. Hopefully, though, we can keep winning games and put the pressure on them and try and stay in this title hunt to try and win the Premier League in this last season of taking over Tottenham. But Manchester City are just struggling a little bit more than you would expect, but they do have a big gap over both Arsenal and Chelsea tied down in fifth and sixth respectively. So it's going to be an interesting chance for us here to see how Manchester City are playing with Erling Haaland and still Pep Guardiola in charge. We do really need to win this game just to get a gap on Manchester City to try and hold on to third in the league and also to try and keep ourselves in that title hunt. And we will come back shortly from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium with the team sheets. And here are the team sheets for this game. There are no real injury concerns for us in terms of this game, but Anhelo does start out on the right wing. Jesus Colonna is fit, but has only just recently recovered from an injury. So that's why Anhelo starts there. You can see the Manchester City team very dangerous looking attack wise. Haaland up front have still got most of the players that they started this save off with as well. So it's going to be a tough test for us today albeit we are at home, and hopefully we can pick up three points to try and keep ourselves in the title race, but Manchester City are going to get shown something immediately from the kickoff, while well, Cancelo makes his way down the right-hand side over to Bernardo Silva, and they are already in the final third, Cancelo makes his way down the right, puts a ball, and it's allowed to bounce free, and Raheem Sterling at the far post, and that is a dreadful start for us here. At home, 1-0 Manchester City after only half a minute and we were cut open far too easily there. That goal has been entirely more or less created by Juan Cancelo and Raheem Sterling. Too much pace for Emerson Royal gets in behind him on the left-hand side and we are 1-0 down early. Nine minutes gone here and this time it is Tottenham on the attack, although Ruben Diaz does clear that, but we are back in possession. Son over to Harry Kane, ball over there for Son. He tries to hit one. From a really tight angle, just comes off the upright and still 1-0 City. 13 minutes gone now and it is a goal kick here to Manchester City, or should I say a free kick, but they look to play out from the back slowly. Galelo, who I believe they've got in from Borussia Dortmund, now Rodrigo back to Laporte. And they are certainly starting this game off pretty well, just that chance for us to som, but they did strike before that through Raheem Sterling very early on and still hold the 1-0 lead here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but that's a good interception there from Emerson Royale. Can we get something going here? He makes his way down the right-hand side, puts the ball in. Son with the header off the post. Good chance again. Hits the woodwork a couple of times now, Son, and we are still 1-0 down. Although shortly off the back of that, Son does now have a corner, puts this in, and it is Christian Romero who puts us back at one all, back at all square, and Son, after hitting the post a few times through shots himself, gets an assist. It's a nice ball into the mixer, very similar to what you would have seen before in the sporting game, but this time Romero on the end of it instead of Rodon, and it is one all at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. 27 minutes gone now, and it is a throw in to Manchester City as they look to get back in front in this game. And hello, looking to press one of the players there out on the left-hand side. Foden, simple wall there for Bernardo Silva. Now, was he onside? It looked like it was a little bit too good to be true that one, so we'll just wait and see about this decision. Hopefully, the goal gets overturned, but it will not, as they are already showing the replay, saying it is a goal, so it is 2-1. Manchester City, it's a simple ball over the top there from Phil Foden to Bernardo Silva, and he must be onside somehow. We'll see if we get shown a replay to show it, and we will here. Ball over the top, and it is our right-sided centre-backs there playing him onside, and back to a Manchester City lead, 2-1 after half an hour. Although now we do have a throw in ourselves. Renan Lodi Son looks to hold things up after seeing up the first goal from the corner. He has definitely been our most threatening player so far. Has the South Korean Anhelo back out to Emerson Royale. Harry Kane, one on one. What can he do there? Back for Son. That's a really good stop there from Well Cancelo. Really good block. And it is still 2 1 City. And shortly off the back of that, a corner to Tottenham. Joe Rodon, he puts that. And the back of the net continues. Higgs good goal scoring form, although VAR is going to check this goal as well. So we'll just hold our celebration just a little bit. Mike Dean to consult, and the goal is awarded. Didn't look like anything was overly 
wrong with that one. And Joe Rodon gets yet another header goal. He has been absolutely superb for us in the air in this game. Although before we can change anything tactically off the back of that, if we wanted to, it is another highlight that we are going to get shown from the kickoff to Manchester City. So this is a really helter-skelter first half here in this game in the Premier League. Two all coming from behind twice to get things back to all square. Cancelo passes that back to Ruben Diaz, and they just knock the ball about inside their half. Now Haaland, who has been fairly quiet in this game so far, been other players threatening, but he now looks to get a bit more involved at two all. Plays that back to Ruben Diaz, De Bruyne. Back for Bernardo Silva, ball over the top. Haaland, great chance for him here. Another really good block, though. Not too sure who that was for us this time, but we do keep it at two all, 10 minutes shy of half time. And that is half time in this Premier League clash against Manchester City, two all. We are slightly dominating things stats wise. They've had the better XG, though, so I suppose you could say it's a fair result. Both their shots on target going in the back of the net, which is a little bit frustrating, but we are certainly still in this game thanks to those goals from corners, which we have scored. We're going to make one change at halftime. Renan Lodi not playing too well. 6.4 ratings of Ben Davies can come on for him. And hopefully we can find a winning goal in the second half as it is still locked up at 2 all. And up to the hour mark now, we're going to make a change here because Emerson Royale is one yellow card away from a suspension. So we'll do our, our assistant manager suggest there and Caligari can come on for him, but no highlights so far. Still 2 all. 66 minutes gone here. It's a pass back to Onana and goal for us. And now Joe Rode on the goal scorer looks to get something going. And hello, just holds the ball up. Caligari off the bench. He has been quite good for us lately. Here's the Brazilian right back. Back to Hoiberg. Puts a pass in. And Dombele takes a shot from a long way out. What a goal that is. It's a bit sloppy from Emerson. It has to be said there in goal for Manchester City. But we finally... Get in front in this game, having had to come from behind twice. We hit the lead for the first time here at home, and it is 3 2. Tottenham it is a long shot from Indon Ballet. Emerson just caught off guard there, I think. He probably should be getting to that, but doesn't. And it is 3 2. Tottenham with 20 minutes left to play. And just off the back of that goal, and hello is having an okay game down to a red heart. We'll make our last substitution, Corona, to come on for him. Still 3 2. Tottenham. And that is full time in this game here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Very quiet second half compared to the first, but Indom Ballet picks up man of the match for that long shot, which picks us up the win. A very to and fro game. We just edged things stats wise. They did have the better XG, but those goals from corners in the first half proving very important for us. Both of Manchester City strikers not really performing that well, which is interesting. So Harland and Martinez. Just struggling a little bit, it would appear like, at Manchester City based on that game. But that's a big three points for us in the Premier League title race as we beat Manchester City 3-2 at home. And before we wrap up today's episode, we did play the second leg of that first knockout round in the Champions League, taking a 3-1 lead into the home league against Sporting. And we did wrap things up nice and early in this game, put out a fairly heavily rotated team as I did felt we had this fairly well under control after the first leg, and we did strike nice and early around the five-minute mark. Emerson Royale plays that back to Hoiberg. He puts that in for Brian Gill at the far post. A nice early goal, and that was more or less all that happened in that game. A very quiet affair, as you can tell by the stats, and we pick up a very solid 1-0 win in the home league and make our way through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League, going through 4-1 on aggregate. But before we find out, who we are going to be playing in the quarterfinals, which is probably going to be coming up in tomorrow's episode. We have, if we go back to the inbox, had our youth intake preview. Now, with this being the last season of this save here, we're not going to spend too much time on it, but it's an average intake, apparently only two and a half star rated. Most of our good players coming through in the midfield, center back and left back. The star of it is Alistair Redman. He is a right back. Three and a half star potential ability for him. Looks like a decent option at 15 years old. A couple of average players in behind that. The likes of Matthew Black and Hakim Adebowal, but not the greatest youth intake, although you make your way down further. Liam Walker, Marco Allen also have that three star potential. So we're probably not going to sign too many of these players. Not that it's going to matter too much anyway, but Fair to say, not the greatest youth intake. One decent New Zealander down there, but not really good enough for Tottenham, it's fair to say. So I don't know if we're going to be signing him up either. So a bit of an average youth intake, as it suggests, 
and we make our way forward a few days off the back of that youth intake. We have had both the quarterfinal and semi-final draw for the Champions League, and would you believe it, we've got the Premier League leaders in Liverpool. That's going to be really tough for us, that one. Yeah, the first league is going to be at Anfield, so I suppose that does play into our favour, but a tough test for us there against the Premier League leaders, and if we do win that tie, we will be taking on one of Bayern Munich or Pauli St. Germain and the other ties in the quarterfinals and semifinals. Manchester City or Napoli will take on Man United or Barcelona. So that side does look like it could be potentially ending up in a Manchester derby. But certainly a lot of Premier League clubs still in at this stage of the Champions League in the quarterfinals. But a tough test for us coming up tomorrow against Liverpool. And we will bring that to you guys over both legs. And before that, potentially. We could get a bit of a psychological edge if we can beat them in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup at Anfield as well. And we've got a few Premier League games scattered around that as well against Leicester and Newcastle. Probably going to need to try and win those if we want to keep our Premier League title hopes alive as well. But if you did enjoy today's episode, picking up a win over Manchester City in the Premier League as well as bringing you guys an update on that Champions League, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying what you see here on the channel, then also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. And until tomorrow when we start to really focus on the Champions League two-legged quarterfinal against Liverpool, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.